Hello, I'm Dr. Melanie Ohm, Adjunct Music Humanities Faculty at Chandler Gilbert Community College in Arizona. In my Music Humanities courses, Rock Music Culture and Hip Hop Music Culture, I teach music as a social history. This is a natural fit for a project um, about music culture and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals called SDGs. The Renewable Project described here um, is focused on SDG number 16, Peace, Justice, and Strong Institutions, which encompasses human rights. Music and Culture in Real Life is a semester-long project involving 12 assignments. The final assignment is to post in a blogging environment online, medium.com. Uh, their article includes a visual element, such as a painting they've created or an infographic, something that gets at the essence of their project in a visual form. Students write on a topic that is significant to them personally. Uh, at the end of the semester, um, when they submit to our magazine, Music and Culture in Real Life, they are published authors. The disciplines incorporated into this project are varied and dependent on the student's focus. Fundamentally, the project will address music, culture, English literacy, uh, visual literacy, as well as digital literacy and civic literacy and music literacy, but may also address science, history, medicine, psychology, and a variety of other subjects. Joshua Barlow will be sharing his project with you. He is a biology major and made the connection between music culture and environmental sciences in his project the Hidden Climate of Music. Josh, mm -hmm. what was your project? So my project, it was basically to, uh, to take a, an issue that we're facing in society and relate it to music and how the, the music, rock music or the music industry is connected to this issue. Okay, great. And why did you, what was your topic and why did you end up choosing that topic? So I decided to choose basically climate change and the environment. Um, I think it's just a really important topic to discuss because it's something that's going to affect us for a long time if we don't do something about it. And it's going to affect a lot of people. So it seems like it's something very important that we need to address. And I figured Pretty much every aspect of society is like linked to it in some way. So I figured it would be a good point, one that I was passionate about and one that would work pretty well. It pretty much just all aligned. Excellent. Um, and then with that in mind, what did you most hope to accomplish through your article? So I guess one thing I wanted to do was to get a better personal understanding of the thing, the issue because I, I felt like I didn't really get the full grasp of it anyways. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to learn a little bit myself, and then, I mean, since it was originally just an essay, I didn't assume that a whole lot of people would get to it, but maybe if it did reach somebody, maybe it would help change their attitude a little bit about the topic. Excellent, so with that in mind, who, who exactly was your audience, and then uh, did you make any adjustments in your communication with that in mind? So my audience was mostly a lot of young people because I figured they're going to be the ones that will be most affected by the issue in the future. Because I mean, we're like, my generation is going to be the one to like inherit the world after everybody, after the previous generations. So we're going to be the ones who are going to be dealing with these problems that have been left for us. So I figure young people are going to be the ones that will be most affected by it. They'll be the ones that are most likely to make a change. And then also, since it is within the, the bounds of the music industry, I wanted it to be able to reach like young and aspiring artists as well. So maybe they would feel inclined to make a change or suggest things to people that are like maybe above them in the industry, some like record labels, they could suggest things that maybe they could use to help make an impact where it counts, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And so did you did you talk differently to, did you feel like you geared your writing differently in order to reach that audience? 
I mean, I definitely spoke maybe a little more casually than I would in a very professional paper, just because it was a blog and also just in a way that anyone could kind of, I guess, relate to and just kind of grasp onto. So I geared it towards that and maybe I made some suggestions that were applicable to the group of people. And were there surprises for you as you looked at, at the research? So I guess going into the research, I wasn't really sure what exactly the connection was going to be. I wasn't sure how the music industry was going to tie into the environmental aspect. Just going into it, I was surprised to find that that um, the music industry is actually kind of at an all-time worse for the effects that it's having on climate change. I was like, it seems that since we've steered away from like physical copies of music, like CDs and vinyls and stuff, for the most part, we've gone all the way to digital. And it would seem like that would be the most effective and environmentally safe. But actually, it, just the the storage facilities for like these uh, the streaming services just releases way more carbon emissions than anything else in the past. It's way more than it used to be, which is the biggest surprise in the data. And, really where it's all, where the whole, the issue and then the solution, it's all kind of based around that idea that we're kind of at a, the worst point that we have been for it. And then, so how does your visual, the visual component speak to that? So the visual component, I wanted to make sure that it didn't have too much information, but it had just enough to get the point across. So of course I wanted to include the statistic on like how the music industry is at its worst point and how the streaming services are causing this issue. So I basically just had three columns, one for what the problem was, one for how the music industry was tied to it, and the last for what we could do to solve it. I made it nice and easy to digest and easy to share, just based basically on any like social media platform, because that'll probably be the best way that it would be spread. I loved that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and, and so did you feel that this project was at all different than um, a typical research um, prop paper? Yeah, I think it definitely was a bit different. I have done, I guess, I've done a blog before, but I don't think it really was published in quite the same way. It was, it's probably like the URL may not even be active anymore for that one, but posting this on like a, a blog website, it seems like it will have a little bit more of a lasting use instead of just being like some normal research paper done for an assignment you get your grade you're done versus this where it'll actually have at least a little bit more of a lasting impact so to speak and do you feel that there are some skills that you acquired through this project that will have an impact for the for you for the future something reusable or yeah i guess it was good just to get kind of acquainted with my resources because like I said, I've done blogs before, but the URLs aren't active and I've done like graphic design before, but I like you'd need Photoshop and Illustrator and I just don't have access to those programs right now. So it was good to get acquainted with like the um, medium.com and then the the other Adobe program, I forget what it was called, but Spark. Spark, yeah, Adobe Spark that I can just use for free in it lets me make any sort of like infographic, any sort of design just for for something simple. And like I just the fact that I have access to that is something that I have learned from it. That's great. So one last question. Overall, what does this project what does this type of project mean to you? And I'm gonna say specifically personally about being able to approach an issue that matters to you. Is there it gives me an opportunity to once again just kind of get to know the topic better and I guess have be more educated on it and be able to like change my attitude towards it a little bit just to be more just to feel more proactive with it is nice because there's not it just feels like there's not a whole lot you can do especially with an issue like this like one person it's hard for one person to make any sort of impact on the whole grand scheme of things so just to kind of be able to put forth a little bit more on that is it's a good experience, I think. Well, Josh, you did an amazing job on your project and you should you. be very proud of it. If you're interested in learning more about the project and hearing from young voices about what matters to them, you may access the magazine on medium.com. 
at the link provided here. Thank you.